one. And let's talk about Anthony Mackey, who is finally opening up a why he don't like taking pictures with fans. So here's a daily reminder that no is a complete sentence because Marvel star Anthony Mackey, known for portraying Captain America in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, has recently come under scrutiny for his consistent refusal to take photos with fans in public. While some criticize him for not giving back to his supporters, Mackey has his reasons and they're rooted in the complexities of modern celebrity culture. Now, in a roundtable discussion of The Hollywood Reporter, where there was a couple of celebrities there, including Theo James and Ricky Martin, Mackie shed light on why he avoids the camera offset. Now, I do have a clip, courtesy of TikTok, that I'm going to play for y'all. And right after we're done with that, I'm going to give my thoughts. So, hold on, because it's a little high on there. Let's roll this clip. You know, because of the of the Kardashians, we're kind of put in this reality where we looked at as as tools, mm. as vessels, as opposed to uh, artists. And I, there's been several experiences now where people have taken a picture with me and used them for ways that I don't Sorry, deem, mm. uh, yeah. you know, the right way. Mm. So because of that, I just I, I choose not to be a part of your social reality. Mm. You it, know, it is interesting that the, the melding of you know, actors and celebrities where there used to be more different and now different people, they're conflated into the same thing. But right. it's like, I, I have no interest in that other part. It's, right. it's the job, it's what I do, you know. Yeah. Um, but the assumption that you're that as well is Right. I have people tell me all the time, well, this is what you signed up for. I'm like, uh, I'm like, that's uh, crazy. That's like telling a girl that because she got put on a cute dress and went to a bar, she signed up for me to harass her all night. No. No, in this day and age, we literally learn that we have to respect everyone's no. So if I tell you no, respect it. You know, because. So, like Anthony Mackie said, no means no. In the words of like using, that's a perfect example in regards of, you know, if I'm out dressed a certain way and I want to, you know, I want to go to the club and I want to go out in the street and it's hot or whatever the case, or you go into the club and you want to feel sexy. Then if I say I don't want to take a picture, then that's my right. And I know like some people say, well, yeah, that's what you signed up for. It's like, no, I signed up to be an actor. I want to just make movies. I want to perform. I want to be an artist. Yes, fortunately taking pictures and all this stuff comes with the territory. But a lot of times, yes, a lot of times y'all will take pictures with people and y'all will run with a narrative and y'all will lie and say, oh, so-and-so assaulted me or so-and-so was in my apartment and we had sex. And it's like, no, I just, you know, I just so happened I was going to the store to get me some, you know, to get me like um, a, a drink or whatever, like an iced coffee. I'm coming from Starbucks or some bubble tea. And then we run into each other and we just took a picture. But then you run up with a whole narrative. So I totally get that. It's like, you know what? He's like, I'm an actor and I just want you to respect my boundaries. I'm not the type of person that just wants to go around and take your photos and stuff. And people get so mad about it. That's why I always told y'all, like, whenever I encounter celebrities, I'll tell y'all that I've seen them. I don't take... I don't see the point in like, oh yeah, I get to take a picture because it's it's a memory or it's this or it's that. And it's like, I'm not so enamored with the whole celebrity culture thing because I totally get it. And I understand with being in and out of the business and working behind the scenes and being around enough celebrities, I understand that this is all basically like, it's an, it's an illusion. We're in the matrix. Or I compare it to Wizard of Oz. When you pull the, you know, the curtain back, you see it for what it is. So I totally get where he's coming from. But apparently some people was upset over what he said. Because this debate over uh, Mackey's actions escalated recently when a video surfaced him strongly declining a photo request of a young fan. The incident initially shared but later deleted from social media showed Mackey firmly saying, I cannot take a picture and reiterating absolutely not when pressed further. The boy's grandmother claimed this was not the first time Mackey has refused such requests, especially from the little black boys who look up to him in New Orleans. Now, see that here we go using the, you know, people's skin color and things as a weapon. Oh, well, the children look up to you. You should take that picture for that little black boy over there that want to be like you one day. And it's like, okay. Like, th that don't mean nothing to me. Like, me just being a presence in a film, and that should be enough of the representation for that kid to want to look up to you, to want to dress like you, or whatever the case is. Not me being like, oh, I'm going to take a picture. Because five minutes later, that child done moved on and forgot about said actor. Not going to stand if it was Halloween or whatever the case is. 
So some supporters argue that Mackie is entitled to his personal boundaries and should be respected for saying no. Saying in this day and age, Mackie insisted, we initially learned that we have to respect everyone's no. He likened the expectations placed on celebrities to an inappropriate sense of entitlement, comparing it to telling someone they deserve harassment simply for their appearance. Now, on the other hand, critics find it disappointing that Mackie doesn't make exceptions for young admirers who view him as a role model. Given that he was in his hometown, Nolans, many felt he should have been more accommodating. According to J. Z. J. D. Carrere of New Orleans Pulse, the boy's mother explained that she helped Mackie gain access to a VIP section at a local event before asking for the photo, adding another layer of complexity to the situation. Now, here's the thing. Now, I would make, me personally, I would make exceptions. Like, if you help me out in a, some sort of way of gaining access to something, and in exchange, you ask for a photo, sure, I'll do it. But I feel like there should be boundaries set. It's sort of like if I'm in the middle of eating with some friends or if I'm out drinking with friends and you approach me mid, you know, chew, to me, that's disrespectful. Like, don't approach me while I'm eating. Don't approach me in those sort of, sort of situations. So I guess, you know, it's a slippery slope. I guess what people need to do is set boundaries and let them know, like, okay, for this, maybe for this situation, I might do it. Um... Like, for example, like the lady said, oh, I helped you gain access to a VIP area. I'm, if I'm, if you want to do me that solid, I would be grateful enough to take a photo because I feel like that's the least I could do. But if I'm, if you just expecting like, oh, I'm going to just go out of my way. And then if I ask you a photo, you just be like, no, I'm not going to do that. Like, to me, that's a little shady. So I do agree on that part. So I guess this is a, this is like really hard to be like, how do, how do you wrap your brain around this? It's like, I get it. But on the other hand, it's like, you yeah, set the strong boundary, but you, ha in so many ways, yeah, make the exception. So the, insist the incident serves as a reminder of the nuanced relationship between fame and privacy. It poses questions about the obligations celebrities have towards the fans versus their right to personal space. Social media users continue to debate whether Mackey's actions were justified, highlighting the ongoing challenge public figures face balancing their public and private lives. So, or maybe what it is, you know what, I feel like Oh, God. I don't know. It's, yeah, I'm on the fence. This is really a hard one. It's like I'm get, I am I get the whole boundary situation, but I do feel like in a way that if I'm going to go out in public in certain places, I should know that, you know what, people are going to take my photo, whatever the case was. When I worked the cricket matches, I didn't know a lot of them celebrities up in there, like a lot of the famous actors from India, whatever the case was, but they were in VIP. On the outside, outdoors, on the on the little balcony area, sitting, and people came out with their phones and they took pictures of them at the top of the situation. And if it gets to that point where it's like, okay, just throw your shades on, pretend like the all these little cameras that people got out, like you're making a movie, let them take their picture and keep it moving. But a lot of times, like, yeah, you have you have to understand it comes with the territory. But I guess, you know, a lot of these celebrities, they don't like taking pictures. They don't like that side of Hollywood. It's like we're going back to the Ben Affleck thing. There are people, there are people out here who love acting, people who love the art of making movies and just creating art in general, but don't like the other part that comes with it. And unfortunately, you know, Hollywood has its good sides and its bad side, and you have to figure out where that balance is and i guess you know what with this clip going around y'all already know like if you see anthony mackie out in the street say how you doing and keep it moving look i'll tell you this story i remember dj baker I'm, i don't know if he's still watching because he did message me that he was watching the show <laughs> he met anthony mackie because they worked on a movie back in the day um, when he was, you know, back in his acting days and he said anthony mackie got pissed at him because he kept bringing up brother to brother <laughs> And, you know, Brother to Brother is the movie where Anthony Mackie played a gay man. And apparently, Anthony didn't like the fact that you had this other actor that was bringing... He felt like, I guess, maybe, you know, DJ was trolling him. We just go to the show, but maybe um, Anthony got a lot of demons and he was trying to battle at this point. But I say that I say all this to ask, what do you guys think of this story? Do you think the end, what you know, that people should respect people's no, or do you think that Anthony Mack is just coming across as some ungrateful, entitled celebrity, per usual? Let me know in the comments down below.